Let's say we're asked to find the coordinates for these three points. We can start with A. We notice that we would need to move one unit to the right and four units up on the y-axis in order to get to A from the origin. This is why we say that the coordinates for A are 1, 4, because we had to go 1 on the x-axis and 4 units up on the y-axis. Notice that the x-coordinate always comes before the y-coordinate. If we go to the right on the x-axis, that's always a positive x-value. If we go to the left on the x-axis, that's always a negative x-value. Similarly, if we go up on the y-axis, it's always going to yield a positive y-value. And if we go down on the y-axis, it's always going to give us a negative y-value. For B, we see that we would need to move 5 units to the left and then 3 units up. This gives us coordinates for B as negative 5, 3, because we went 5 units to the left and 3 units up. Lastly, for C, this is an obvious easy one, perhaps. We're not really moving to the left or to the right at all on the x-axis. All we're doing is moving two units down. This gives us coordinates for C as 0, negative 2.